What's going on guys, it's Nulai here, and I wanted to react to the Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, uh, debuting September 2nd. So, let's see what this is about. Before we continue, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for it because, I mean, why, why not? I mean, if you grew up like I did, you grew up watching Lord of the Rings, and Lord of the Rings is one of the biggest things back in the early 2000s and, and beyond. So, without further ado, um, starting off, look. Of course, we got new characters. We can't have we can't have the same characters from you know twenty years ago. But um, let's see what this trailer looks like. Uh, let's see this. Let's catch up some of the visuals. We want this thing max quality. So um, so let's get into it. My brother gave his life hunting the enemy. Okay, so. His task is now mine. Okay, this is the. This is the Speak your truth. Pause. Visuals stunning. Um, landscape could could have probably been a little bit more sharper. I don't know if it's because of of where what it, I don't know if it's because the trailer is just compressed or what it is. But images could have been definitely the landscape could have been a little bit more proper, but I love the way the definitely. Stand with me. She's, most, she's the queen. Ours was no chance meeting. She's giving me not fate, uh, nor destiny. Lords. Ours was the work of something greater. Each of us, every one, must decide who we shall be. The leader of the free man. I am not the hero you seek. Why, why wouldn't you have a great? Let's go back. <laughs> All right, this guy. This guy is going to be making somebody's husband angry because he's going to be all up with somebody's wife. I guarantee you. That's what it, that's what it appears like. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Still I am not the hero you seek. You are, buddy. Whatever it was you did, be free of it. One day this will be your kingdom. Raise your sail. There we go. There go the vision. Choose not the path See, of fear. A lot, a lot sharper. But that of faith. Is because of the way the trailer started out. Okay, here we go. These are okay. Obviously, these are the bad guys. These are the people who are trying to go back and infiltrate the free world. Um, once again, we have somebody playing with those powers that does not need to be played with. And they need to be hidden and kept hidden that way. One thing we can do, better than any creature in all Middle Earth, we stay true to each other with our hearts even bigger in our feet. I can survive this. You and I. What what did I tell you? I said it. I called it, and this is even before. Um, so he's gonna have a human love interest, and we all know how how it works between elves and the humans. There's always been some bad blood there, and there will always continue to be bad blood between elves and humans. Why? I don't know. Um, I, and the fable of it. I would have we have to look more into the fable of why there are always bad blood between the humans and the elves. Even in the dwarves pretty much get along with humans, but it's it's different when it when it comes to the, the elves and humans for some reason. And this is the fable that's been playing on for years and years in pretty much any movie that you ever ever watched or seen for that matter. You're gonna always see that bad blood between humans and elves. Why? I don't know. Um, but it works. It caused a lot of tension. This, this is a series. This is going to be a series. It's a TV series, by the way. 
so far I'm, I'm loving it. It gives me something to watch, something else to watch. And I'm a movie goer, and I'm a sh- and I love watching TV series, especially all the Marvels, and, um, pretty much anything that gives me like time to relax and just watch and enjoy the shows, enjoy some prime acting. Come on, up! Wait! No, we keep moving. Why do you keep fighting? There is a tempest in me. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. Without it, what am I to be? The Ring of Powers, September 2nd. And that's the Ring of Powers. Overall, I think it'll be a dope. I think it's going to be dope um, just to start off. Um, definitely going to be multiple parts to this uh, trilogy or this new script that's being written uh, to the Lord of the Rings. Um, you got people who are going to be fans of the old Lord of the Rings who are definitely going to be watching this. And then you got the new generation who are going to be introduced to the Lord of the Rings and this new series. It's going to, it's going to be a new experience for everybody all around. But overall, I think, I think it'll be good. There's some interesting characters I saw in there, especially the elf guy. Um, definitely would like him destroying people's uh, families. Um, see what relationships he's going to be building story role he's going to be playing it looks like the elven queen trying to either i don't know why she would still need to be on the front lines that's kind of uh, that's going to be interesting to see why or who she is first of all i'm, I'm assuming i just assume she um royalty but she may not be she may be a daughter of the king which we did see the elven king in that back let's go back to this panel there was an elven king okay. Where'd he go? There you go. Every- so I would assume that this is going to be the Elven King. Maybe, maybe that was his daughter. That's going to be the main person, the main character of this uh, of this Lord of, of this series, this particular series, because I'm only saying it because she is the one who's out in the front line. Look like she appeared to be in the royal court, so maybe, maybe she will be in the line for royalty next up, or to be the princess. She's maybe she's the princess, and she's trying to assist her father do something that he just doesn't want to be I'm trying to nudge him because most of the time we know we all know that L, the elves like to only help if it benefits them. If it doesn't benefit them, then they're not they're not touching it. They need to be. Um, there needs to be some type of outside influence that'll actually get them involved. But overall, um, like I said, I think she's gonna be like a princess or something. Without it, what am I to be? And what, what, what? Something like this, where there are multiple parties involved, influences going around. There, what would a show like this be without some old, good old traditional backstabbing? I mean, I'm talking about some Game of Thrones type of backstabbing, the Red Wedding uh, type of backstabbing. Um, that's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. And overall, I think it'll be good. So, yeah, it's September, it's September 2nd. Hope y'all got your Amazon Prime accounts ready to set up because it's coming out and it's going to be here for us to enjoy and watch but yeah i'm excited so till next time guys see y'all later peace out